be alongside these efforts to find a coronavirus vaccine, is heat still working on these other vaccine pipelines or has the pandemic really disrupted trials outside of this? You know, um, we have we have a very strong effort in uh, COVID-19 because that's what's most relevant today. Um, our collaborators at the University of Miami have received, uh, you know, quite a bit of funding from the Department of Defense and, and the NIH uh, to develop uh, GP96 vaccines based on our technology platform against uh, Zika virus, against malaria, HIV. So, um, you know, I, I know um, that, uh, you know, they're looking to, to expand those programs, but right now our effort outside of oncology is really focused on COVID-19. You know, it's, uh, there, there's a lot going on right now. I mean, the world has, has really drastically changed. You know, it's, it's changed for us as a company. You know, um, our, you know, our focus has historically been, uh, you know, progressing oncology uh, drugs. But now, you know, we've, you know, we've really taken, taken on this uh, program with full force. I think our vaccine is unique. It can really service um, we really believe it can service the population of patients that that really need it most, and we're doing everything we can to get to get this vaccine out there as quickly as possible. Actually, to your point about the patients who need it most, can you speak just a bit more to why this is the vaccine? If you're looking to protect immune compromised people, if you're looking to protect the elderly, yeah, I mean this. Our vaccine um, has, you know, we've been in the clinic with our vaccine in the oncology setting. It's the same platform um, for years. And we've dosed hundreds of patients with this vaccine. And we see that the vaccine uh, does certain things. It activates a robust uh, T cell immune response. Uh, the T cell immune, um, immunity is specific to the antigens being secreted. And the T cells we activate actively invade the lung, which, which is important because you have to be able to uh, generate uh, T cells that can penetrate the, uh, the mucosa. And our vaccine, because it's GP96 mediated, has the, has the ability to do this. So, um, you know, it's, it's a very unique program. And you know, there's there's nothing there's nothing else certainly out there uh, like this. Uh, you know, utilizing uh, this uh, GP96 approach. I mean, basically, we're taking advantage of hundreds of millions of years of evolution. This is what your body does naturally to fight disease, and we're we're supercharging this process. And um, you know, and you know, we we we've, we've shown a very positive uh, safety profile. It's a very differentiated type of vaccine. Um, but, you know, I think when you look at, uh, patients who are elderly or those with comorbidities or otherwise patients who are immunocompromised, um, if you could activate robust panantigen T cell immune response in the same way that their body is used to by taking advantage of this, the, the, the power of GP96, it uh, it really can have advantages over over other uh, vaccine approaches out there, and, and that's really what we're focused on.